Hello, in this session we're going to look at IFRS 9. I'm going to split IFRS 9 up. In this one I'm just going to look at the treatments and then we'll look at hedging and derivatives in other sessions. So essentially in IFRS 9 you need to decide whether something's a financial asset or a financial liability. I'm going to start with financial assets. So let's say that we buy some bonds well, we've got to decide what we're going to do with them, and that will determine the treatment. So, for example, if you buy some bonds and you intend to keep it, so you're going to keep the bonds, and there's just interest and capital on the bond, well, then that's going to be treated at amortized cost, so you're really asking, what's your business model? So it's the business model test. Well, we're going to keep them. And what is the bond? It's interest and capital. In that case, well, then you're going to have a treatment of amortized cost. And we'll look at that in a little second. But what if you were going to do different things depending on the bond? So for example, you might have a business models to keep some, and sell some. So some bonds you keep, some bonds you sell. And it's still interest and capital. Well, in that case, you take them fair value through other comprehensive income. Okay, so you're going to keep some, you're going to sell some, and it's just interest and capital, fair value through other comprehensive income. Others, well, they're going to go fair value through profit and loss. Essentially, those are ones that are going to be held for sale. Because if you're not going to keep them, you're going to sell them. If you intend to sell them, fair value through profit and loss. Remember, these fair value ones are, you remeasure to fair value each year with the gain or loss to OCI for fair value through other comprehensive income or profit and loss for fair value through profit and loss. So when you're buying bonds, the key thing is to try to determine what the business model is. Are you going to keep it? Are you going to keep some and sell some? Or are you pretty much going to sell, which is the others that we mention? What if then we don't buy some sh bonds, but we buy some shares? So we buy shares in another entity. Well, again, you gotta determine what you're going to do with them. So if you intend to keep the shares, well then those can be classified at FVOCI. Okay, but you need to choose to do that. It's called an irrevocable election. You can elect to keep them at fair value through other comprehensive income. If not, so if you intend to sell them, and the standard talks about holding them for trading purposes, if you intend to sell them, well then you're gonna go fair value through profit and loss. If you're in any doubt, go with fair value through profit and loss. So again, with the shares, it's about what you're going to do with them. If you're gonna keep them, choose fair value through other comprehensive income, if you want. If you're going to sell them, fair value through profit and loss. And you can treat them at fair value through profit and loss at any stage if you don't choose that fair value through other comprehensive income. So those essentially are the assets. So if you're thinking about what we're looking at, these are financial assets over here. You buy some bonds, you buy some shares. But what about liabilities? Well, you could issue some bonds. And if you issue bonds, it's pretty much going to be amortized cost. Even if you have a bank loan, that is going to be amortized cost. The only financial liabilities that won't be amortized cost will generally be derivatives. 
and we're not really thinking about derivatives at this point. I'll do a separate session on it. So liabilities are a bit more simple because for liabilities and financial liabilities, what you're essentially going to do is treat them at amortised cost. So you issue some bonds, amortised cost. You have a bank loan, amortised cost. Any short-term ones like derivatives would go fair value through profit and loss, but we'll look at those in a later session. Remember, if you're wondering what amortised cost is, that's the treatment where you start with the opening balance on whatever it is. You accrue the effective interest so that accrues on it then there's the actual interest paid so if it's an asset it's interest that you'll actually get if it's a liability it's interest that you will pay and then that will give you the closing balance so remember that's how you do amortized cost opening balance plus the effective interest less the cash amount paid will give you the closing balance on the bond so that is a summary of how you treat basic financial assets and basic financial liabilities. Make sure you know these. These form the basis of some other more complicated aspects of IFRS 9.